guys, I'm finally going to be drawing more of your OCs. I'm sorry these videos have been really spaced out lately. That's because I'm planning on going overseas to Italy for like um, a little trip and I've been super, super busy. But hopefully once I get back, I'll be able to upload these much more often. I'm really sorry about how spaced out they have been. But anyway, the first OC here is Too Blue. That's how they said they're supposed to pronounce their name. I pronounced it terribly. They won the Amino contest last, um, last month's contest. There were two winners that won free OC pictures. This was one of them that, that got first place. The next one is Aristetic, and um, let me see, I think they have a little bio here, but they, they sent me two pictures of their OC to go from, and I wasn't entirely sure how to design them because both of the pictures looked uh, quite a bit different. One had like darker hair, and then one had lighter hair, and one had like dark rings under the eyes, and so I went more for the creepy look rather than the cute look because after reading their story, I thought that fit, I don't know, but I'm gonna read their story for you and you have to tell me what you guys think. I think this story is really interesting. Um, it says this is their backstory. Nathaniel Ryder, Raider, I think it's Raider, not Ryder, was born in the Victorian era, mid to the ending of the 18th century. He was from a wealthy family and his future amongst the higher classes looked bright. Until one day, Nathaniel stumbles upon a demon named Uilium Skyson. I, I probably butchered that name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Another one of my OCs. The demon falls in love with Nathaniel, but Nathaniel is a human and therefore has a short lifespan. So Uilium makes a secret deal with a vampire. The vampire transforms Nathaniel against his will and then leaves him al alone. Nathaniel, who is devastated by his sudden transformation, meets Uilium again. Uilium helps him, and he ends up falling in love with the demon. That's a very interesting. Like, that story sounds like something straight out of an anime that I would absolutely love to watch. So I thought it was super cool and really interesting. And about the designing of this character, when I was drawing this character, like I said, I wasn't entirely sure if I was supposed to go for the... Like, I think the happier one was before they transformed, and then the other one was like after they transformed i'm guessing is because they look more dark and grim so i went for the more grim looking one where they have like the dark rings on their eyes looks pretty much like me every day because i don't sleep <laughs> you know that look like i always like it when they give the dark rings around the eyes i think it looks cool next up is talamhora and let me tell you they just commissioned me and this was one of the most interesting commissions i have ever done i have never done a commission that was completely free for me to do whatever I wanted. They pretty much told me that I could draw whatever I wanted. They didn't even want to see it until the video went up. So they're seeing it for the first time while you're seeing it for the first time. So hopefully while you're watching this, I hope you like it. I'm sorry if you don't, but I tried my very best and used all the like posing and stuff that I thought would be super cool. Like if I wanted my OCs to be drawn, I normally like doing strange, cool poses. I give them personality, like maybe having them leaning against each other like I did here. But I don't know if that's what you would like, but since you kind of gave me a ton of freedom, I <laughs> I hope you like it. I, I tried my best, but there's a lot of information about these characters and I can't possibly read it all because it won't fit in the video. But let me see. There isn't any um, information on Samantha, which is the girl, but there is information on the other guy, Alex, which is the boy in this picture. Um, this is their titles he has as Master Blacksmith. Tainka Canard. I can't read that. I'm so sorry. Oh, wait, there's actually pronunciation lessons here. It's Tainka Canard. Oh my gosh. Age 34. Gender male. Height 5 foot 11 inches. Weight 160. Um, Fay subspecies elemental. Oh, that's interesting. I've heard of elementals and like other things. I've never really known what they were exactly. But that's pretty cool. He looks very strange, like with his cool tattoos and stuff. I really like the design. Um, personal attribute. He he activated the total strength of every living thing on the planet is added to Alex's strength. However, the more power he uses, the more it shortens his lifespan. And the more he becomes a white ash. Ha white ash? W what is that? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but that, that sounds very interesting. However, Alex can control the ash to a point. He can de deconstruct and reconstruct his body with the ash. Oh my gosh, that that almost sounds like teleportation maybe in a sense. However, due to the fragile state of his body is in, he cannot attack until he is completely reformed. Oh, that's, oh, maybe he like, de like turns into like some sort of dust or something. 
and then like him I don't know I'm confused but I'm guessing he has some sort of superpower which makes this entirely more interesting than I thought it was gonna be that's there's a lot of information so I can't read it all but I hope you guys will check out them um, his page and all that on Instagram it is like really cool and thank you so much for commissioning me it really means a ton with the commissions really do support my channel Next up is Goofy Potato on the Amino. This one was the raffle winner. So uh, raffle winners, like I said before, they um, are completely random. So I have no idea who wins, and I have no idea what they're going to, their character is going to be. But for this one, I was really pleasantly surprised when I saw this character. I was like, that character looks really cool, really unique, and really fun to draw. It's like a type of character I would have picked even if it wasn't a raffle. So. It was a ton of fun for me to try and draw them, even though it was a huge challenge, and I felt like I struggled a lot with this character, especially like with the eyes and stuff like that, because the eyes are all red. And whenever that happens, I feel like I have trouble giving the person like, I don't know, the personality or showing emotion on their face. But I tried my best, so I hope you like it. And I really did have so much fun with this character, simply because that bright red hair, but then contrasting with the completely white outfit. I, I really like the design. There is um, information about him. Let me see. Appearance, or no, let's go to personality. Despite his former evil self, Entity is, so their name is Entity 303, or 303. Entity is kind and fiercely loyal to his family and friends, and can often become chatty on certain subjects towards his girlfriend, Lion. Her name's Lion, that's interesting. He expresses his romantic feelings in more ways than one, often showing them through hugs, kisses, and romantic gestures. He would do anything to protect the ones he loves so dearly, even died to save them. Though he is known to moderately cuss, he is still a guy you would want to be friends with. That is so cute. It's interesting. So his name is Entity 303. But he's like a person, like a normal person. I, at first, I assumed he was going to be like some like almost like a robot or clone sort of thing. But maybe he's just like an alien sort of. I don't know what he is exactly. There's probably a lot more information on him on the Amino. So if you guys want to know more information about him, check out their Amino page and follow them. And ch I think they have an entire wiki for this little character. I did not. I wasn't able to read it all for this video, so I only pulled out a little bit about the character because I don't always have enough time. I'm sorry. But anyway, about raffles, if you want to enter the raffle, there is um the Flying Things app. But I think the raffle may be switching over to my Amino soon. So if you guys want to join the Amino, there's all those things that are going to be on there, and I'm pretty much trying to get everything in one place. Next up is XO Blank Space XO on Instagram. And this one, I picked this one out because I was trying to find a character that I thought was strange and wasn't exactly human. Because normally when I go for the fourth character, I'm thinking it, it shouldn't be human because I want to like give everyone a fair chance, even if your OCs aren't human. And I normally draw way too many humans. So I went for this robot girl. I thought she looked very interesting and I wasn't entirely sure how to go about it. I wasn't sure. Uh, they made her like a, a scary sort of horror look, but then I kind of made her look a little bit less terrifying so I think I failed to get the exact look I was supposed to go for though it did remind me of that movie what was that movie it was like a movie I used to watch a ton as a kid was it called robots or something I don't remember you guys have to let me know what did you know it's um that robot movie oh I used to love it as a kid I remember it had like that walkie-talkie man song in it from stereogram and oh my goodness I can't remember the name but I used to watch it a ton as a kid and I used to enjoy it. And I think I watched it again more recently. But I still can't remember the name, which makes me really sad. But this character didn't even have a bio, but I really like them. And that's all. If you guys want to join, you just have to put a link down in the description. Well, not in the description, but in the comments, you know what I mean. Put your link in this. Let me see your OCs. And everyone has a fair chance to be drawn. And if you want to join the raffle, it'll be on the Amino soon. And But for now, it's on the uh, Flying Pings app. If you guys want to go get that out, we're trying to make it as fair as possible. So I'm trying my best to give it. Everyone will be able to have a fair chance. And thank you so much for the commission. Again, if you want to commission me, the link is in the description. And thank you guys so much for watching.